Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Zero Private, and today I am bringing you a video about the new NHL 16 Ultimate Team. Uh, some things that you guys may have missed. So basically, I'm going to go through a bunch of pictures, and I'm just going to show you guys and point out some different things that you guys may have missed, and some different things that are coming out in NHL 16. And um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. And as you guys see. The first page for your ultimate team um, actually is a little bit different this year. Before it had like all the new cards and stuff that you will see. Uh, I'm pretty sure that will be on the right where it says welcome to NHL 16. If you guys, my mouse actually doesn't show up. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the right guys. Um, and then as you guys see, the new kind of main menu for ultimate team is changed. It says my collection item inbox and hot daily rewards which was always there. But uh, my collection item inbox used to be moved over and I'm pretty sure it was its own slide. So that's kind of cool that they're putting that in there. Before there was just kind of some wasted space that no one really used. At least I don't think I use. But um, yeah, so let's get on to the next photo. If it's gonna skip. Okay, there we go. Um, so the next like slide is the play slide. So basically, as you guys see, I'm very, very, very excited about this slide here because it says the online seasons, which is totally normal, but to the right you see the single player season. So that's basically for people who are not online or who do not want to play online and want to play in a single player season. They can do that by them. Uh, they can do that offline, and they don't need to be online playing against other people. Um, there's a team of the week which is awesome to see in every single EA game. It's always going to be in every single EA game. I don't think we're going to see it going anywhere soon. Um, but every EA ultimate team game type thing. So it's always been there. I shouldn't say every EA game. But um, as you guys see, there's another player friend. So that's going to be a lot different for like wagers and stuff on YouTube, which I do plan to do. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, you're instead going to be able to friend the person and then just play them like that, which is actually really, really cool. There's another play solo, which is always out, and which was always out in NHL 15 too. Um, it's just where you can play by yourself against whatever team, like actual team, like you can play against teams in NHL, uh, SHL over in the UK, AHL, all those types of teams. Um, uh, and then there's a stat, which was, was pretty much always there as well. So, uh, and then this is the marketplace. We'll go back to the team slide in a second, but this is the marketplace. So there you guys see is the store. You guys got unopened packs, which is really cool. Um, something like in FIFA 15, which I was playing, um, they don't really have that. So like you can't really like build up your packs to make a video, which I really like about NHL 16s, because if you want to keep making money, you make money, and just buying packs, and you can save them so that you can open them all up at once, especially for like pack opening videos and stuff. Um, so the auction house and is right there. It's something where you don't need to go into the store to go to this place. Like uh, last year, uh, no, I'm pretty sure marketplace was own like kind of box. Like the store is right there, um, and you had to like go into it separately. But now they're both just. You can go to your uh, store and auction. You can pretty much just decide more specifically. And then this is something really cool, guys. There's a little bit of intel here that I've seen that no other YouTube's really picked up upon. Is that we will get Stanley Cup playoffs packs, which I I imagine that we would. But you guys see the design for um, some of the original or some of the packs here. Uh, as you guys see the mega packs, I'm pretty sure those prices are off because I doubt they'd be selling a mega pack of 33 items, 20 rare, and all gold. Like, I doubt they would sell something like that for only 1,400 when we're still making the same amount of coins each game as last year, maybe a little bit more. Um, and like a bronze pack is 50 coins. Like, if they, I doubt, I've, like, I doubt it so much, but there's still a little bit of hope that maybe they'll do that. But I don't know, more, like, better players are going to be more easy to, like, access and stuff. And bigger pack openings would be cool with, for the YouTube community and everything. But uh, I don't know if it would be the right thing to do. Uh, I think we should still have to work for it. Um, but as you guys see, the bronze and the silver on the side, those are kind of going to be how they're going to be designed. So that's really cool. I'm kind of interested to see how the gold packs look and all the different players and stuff, like different additions. Next one is the cards. The cards look very, very slick and smooth and uh, I, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. It's just very, very modern. You know, um, it's just kind of like a smooth, simpler layout. Uh, as you see, Craig Anderson. Um, there's a buy. I guess when 
that's for placing a bid. So you can make an offer, you can place a bid, and there's buy now. So he only goes for 1k. I bet he'll go. Uh, actually, I don't know how much he goes for. Hopefully, the market's a little bit more, but like spread out. Where like if you get an A7, they'll actually go for someone for something because you can still get 87s and NHL 15, and they won't go for like anything. Um, so let's go to the next one, and you can add to watch this. I don't know if they always had that, but I know you can do that. Let's go to the next one, and as you guys see, that's how you guys, right, how that's how it's gonna look when you're placing the bed. Something I wanted to point out is the background here. The background is pretty much the normal thing. Uh, I don't think it's too different from NHL 16. All right, here you guys see what you're about, to, what you're gonna see before you go into the game. Um, there's nothing really to do with the gamer tags. They're just two devs that were at E3, I believe. Um, or this was just for the ESHL beta that showed you, um, that showed it for you when uh, you got the beta. But um, yeah, so. As you guys see, it's not very, very different. Um, it's pretty similar still, just made a little bit clean, maybe a little bit, um, I don't know, it just, it looks clean, it looks perfect. Uh, I really like the design that they've kind of changed and gone for a more modern look, clean, slick look. Uh, as you guys hear, this is the world table, so you can see in your division, like, uh, how many players and then where you're sitting, kind of, I guess. Um, and yet, this is more of single player seasons. I'm so excited for it. They have in FIFA. Um, so it's just like times where maybe I'll watch a live stream outside. I don't really. Because some things that I've had problems with was connection in NHL 15. Um, I don't know if it's just the servers. It's probably the servers. But um, I've just had some problems with connection. And you can't always find a game on NHL. So you can always play the single player seasons. Because unfortunately, not that many people are constantly playing like uh, you'd find in FIFA or like Call of Duty. Okay, so here, this is something that I was probably the most excited for. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be excited, but I'm just, I'm hoping. Because as you guys see here, you guys see his this team uh, with the Blackhawks jersey. I like that, I like the cover of it too. I'll show you guys when I get that game. But um, I really, really am just hopeful and I'm trying to keep an eye out for it. But as you guys see, the enemy, the other opposing team, you see the stats there. Something that you didn't see on hockey online seasons, like the hockey ultimate team online seasons, you didn't see the other team's like stats and stuff. So you can, it's actually really cool to see the other team's stats and see the other team's team. Um, like that's how it works in FIFA. I keep going to FIFA because uh, I do believe the ho the ultimate team on FIFA is better, and that hockey ultimate team should go up to par with it. Um, it just. They should work from FIFA 15 on and try to get better things. The only thing that I disliked about what FIFA 15 did and what NHL I hope will never do is make the price, uh, like the minimum price in the, in the price ranges for each player. So it kind of just made the game, I don't know, they were trying to get rid of like coin sellers and stuff, but um, that still didn't stop them. And now it's like you can get players and they won't sell at all. I had Yaya Tori. He was around 260 uh, when I first got him, when I first packed him. And uh, I'm pretty sure he went all the way down now to like 60. So it's just like, you, it's one of those things, you know, that kind of ruined the market. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's coming back for FIFA 16. I hope it never comes to a hockey ultimate team. I don't know. We're just going to have to see and wait for that day and we're just going to have to move along with it. So the next part is what I was talking about before. As you guys see, there's a times two happy hour bonus, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be getting around the same amount of um, points that you will get it, that we got in NHL 15. Uh, there's still some like bonuses and stuff that you will get, but I'm pretty sure it's around the same price. And here you guys see, I don't know if these are going to be the exact overalls for all these players, but we still have Yarmir Yager, he is still in NHL, uh, six, or 50? Yeah, 16. I don't know. I'm lost with my years. Uh, we got Johnny T right there, not Jonathan Taze, but got Tavares, um, and Van Riemsdyk. As you guys see, those are just some of their players, the cards that look good. Um, that hockey ultimate team kind of thing where you see your team didn't really change at all. Um, you see Luongo, I'm pretty sure he got moved up a rank. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he was an 87, or maybe I'm stupid and he was an 89. I don't really know, sorry for the hiccups, excuse me. But um, I don't really know what he was rated. Uh, the next part is just kind of, that's, I'm pretty sure the end of it. Yeah, that's the end of it. We got that like the 
just thank you for watching. Uh, you, you guys just know that I should thank you every time. Um, I hope you guys are as excited as I am for NHL 16 coming out. Guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. My name is EV Profit, and here's something I want to do. Guys, leave me any suggestions for games down in the description below. And, um, yeah, so the ESHL League is coming out, too. This is a little bit of something I want to announce for everyone that stayed at the end of the video. Uh, everyone that stayed at the end of the video and you have a PS4, put your gamer tag or your PSN account, like, put the name for it down below. Because I'm going to be making an ESHL team, and hopefully we can be an amazing team. But guys, I'll invite you all to that team. So, guys, I hope you want to come play. Uh, this is for PS4. I did not get it for Xbox One. Um, I just, I don't know, I've been kind of fed up with Xbox One at the moment. But guys, I think, oh wait, no, I did get NHL 16 for Xbox One. I'm stupid. I got Call of Duty, but this is for Xbox One. Sorry guys if you guys are on PS4. Anyone on Xbox One, put your gamer tag down in the description. Um, hope you guys enjoy uh, the video. And let's just make this year with NHL and Call of Duty. Let's make it a good one. Guys, I like to thank you for watching. My name is Private, and peace.